Welcome back to the lead. I'm Jake Tapper. Our world lead, a new round of intense fighting and attacks in Ukraine. Brutality Europe has not seen in 20 years. Oh, a powerful explosion at a weapons depot rocked the city of Donetsk last night. The Ukrainian government says at least two dozen civilians and soldiers have been killed in the past 36 hours at the hands of pro-Putin rebels and perhaps even Russian soldiers. More than 5,000 people have died since the violence began 10 months ago. CNN senior international correspondent Nick Payton Walsh is in Donetsk, Ukraine. He joins us now live. Nick, you've been near mortar fire all day today. Well, we went towards the uh, town of Ugolgorsk, uh, taken by separatists in the past week, but very little left, frankly, after the fighting. Uh, one house torn simply in two by shelling. Another a huge apartment block of nine floors emptied out of people, but now peppered with shelling. Those who emerged from underground, so they spent their days there, frankly, uh, sheltering from the violence. You're hearing there and seeing pictures of an explosion, too, that rocks the city where I'm standing, the Nets class night. That massive blast shook the building I'm standing in. We thought perhaps it was shelling landing near where I'm standing, but in fact, according to one European diplomat, it was an arms depot potentially hit by Ukrainian military artillery. Uh, that caused the enormous explosion. But civilians caught in the middle of this increasingly terrified, and we're hearing now, too, that the separatists claim they've taken uh, a key part of a road which effectively encircles, in their opinion, the town of Dibaltseva. They've been fighting for that for a long time. It's a strategic hub. Both sides want it keenly. There could be thousands of Ukrainian troops still trapped inside it. Uh, Ukraine denies it's encircled but does admit that one key access road is under attack. A very volatile situation here. It's far from the backdrop for peace talks, Jake. And Nick, you've been telling us for months about the Ukrainians and the Ukrainian military desperately pleading for lethal aid, weapons from the U.S., from the West. But when President Obama and the German Chancellor Angela Merkel spoke today from uh, the White House, they kept talking about a diplomatic uh, solution. How was that received in Ukraine? Well, it's clear Kiev wants to see weapons, wants them fast. And you have to look at the condition of the Ukrainian military to understand why. There are Ukrainian soldiers doing, in their opinion, a valiant job, obviously holding ground, but they're held back significantly by outdated weaponry. Remember, this is a country whose armed forces have been underfunded for decades. Many accuse the Yanukovych administration ousted last year of being behind corruption that enabled the military to be in such a sorry state. And in fact, also, frankly, if you look at the Russian fears that Ukraine could one day join NATO, there is far from any condition to be part of that pretty selective force. It's a mess here, frankly. Ukraine's struggling to hold ground, and it's because of that outdated equipment, much of which we saw blown up littering the streets of Ugolgorsk earlier on today. That's a key reason why they keep losing territory here. They're facing a much better equipped up-to-date military. Many say that is, in fact, the Russian army. Jake? Nick Payton, Walsh, Donetsk, Ukraine. Thanks, my friend.